Okay, we'll wait for everyone to join us. Just let me know if it's cross posted. Okay, I've got somebody watching. Welcome, welcome. We're just waiting for a few more people to join and then we'll get started. I'm really excited about today, guys. We are starting a new project. Oh, hi, Dixie Bell. Hey, all, tell us where you're joining from. Come on, guys, where are you joining from when you join? <laughs> okay. Couple more seconds. Okay. <laughs> That's our doorbell. <laughs> the Titanic theme coming on there. Right. Um, let's get started. Okay, so today is Thursday. That means it's our Woody Bend and Dixie Bell Live. My name's Leah and I'm part of the Woody Bend team. And I'm gonna be using a mixture of Dixie Bell products and Woody Bend products to upcycle this plain cabinet behind me. So We've had this cabinet lying around at our studio for quite a while now. We decided, why not Dixie Bellify it? You know, I'm thinking a lovely bit of paint on here, some nice Woody Bend trims, and it's going to look amazing. So if you're new to Dixie Bell and Woody Bend, Dixie Bell has exclusive Woody Bend designs. So everything we're going to use for this project are Dixie Bell exclusives, um, which is really exciting. Um, so... I mean, let's get started guys where's everybody joining from um if you don't know would you bend is based in the uk we're from leeds which is in the north of england um and i think dixie bell texas yeah <laughs> yeah dixie bell texas cool right there, guys so this cabinet it's mdf okay it's um very plain it's really plain it's tired it's not really got anything going on with it so today we wanted to focus around the Woody Bend Applique 2093. I'm going to hold this close for you guys. So again, go. go. We are wood. Would you bending fired? <laughs> would you bending fired? Yep. So this is the 2093. This is a Dixie exclusive design. Like I said, we wanted to put this design in the corner of our um, cabinet doors here. And then we were like, well, what else can we do with this? Because it's such a boring piece. I think a really dramatic transformation is going to be amazing. So we're going to have these pieces on the top here. Then we're going in with our, when I find it, there we go, our WUB X1008 here. So I'll show you that one as well. Now this is going where the handles are, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the middle of this applique where the slit of the door is so that these become new handles. Um, for the bottom pieces, we're going to be using the Woody Bend 2443. We've chosen this one because it's got a similar motif at the, where have you gone? At the top as it does on the 2093 here. You guys can see my camera's backwards. <laughs> So we're going to be applying that in the corners. And then finally, on the bottom, we're going to be taking, again, a Dixville exclusive 2150. And we're putting this mould in a couple of times across the bottom here. So let's get started, I guess. Um, oh, and I nearly forgot the most exciting part, guys. After we've applied the Woody Bend, we're going to be going in with Dixie Bell pin. So we're going to be taking the Dixie Bell Flamingo. The Dixie Bell Fluff. This is like a, um, I have to describe it. It's an off-white. It's a really lovely colour, really delicate. So we've got Fluff and we've also got Lemonade as well. We're going to be doing a little bit of blending, keeping the pink colours towards the top, mixing it with the Lemonade as it comes through and having the lightest colour around the centre of our cabinet here. So it's going to be like a, a gentle pink mix. It's going to be really, really nice. And if we've got time today as well, finishing touches on the Woody Bear Mordens, we're going to be applying gold gilding wax to highlight those beautiful Woody Bear Mordens. That, that's why I'm excited, you guys. <laughs> I can't wait. We'll get started by applying our 2093. So... This is all packaged up, it's fresh. Um, and I never do a good job at, enough <laughs> at boxing things. 
So this is our third generation Woogie Bend and you can tell because it comes in this awesome packaging. And the third generation Woogie Bend, they usually come in a pair depending on what it is. Um, so you can see we've got a trim of others um, that we're going to be using for next time. So this is a pair, this is a pair um, and it comes packaged on these MDF boards to protect them when they're in transit and things like that. We also like to reuse these boards for mixing paints and all that other good stuff on. So I'm going to place one of my mouldings on a griddle that I've got to the side of me and I'm putting the other one on its baseboard and taking a heat gun and I'm going to start warming up my woodie bend. So you could even use a hairdryer as well because woodie bend, when it's cold, it has all the properties of normal wood, but when you need it, it bends. So hello, Dixie Bell. Hello, hello. Dixie asking, how was your camping trip? Oh, Dixie Bell, you're so cute. I had the best time ever. I climbed three mountains in a day, which is really funny because I'm five foot and I was stood up one of the highest mountains in the UK. <laughs> we also have Laura saying good morning, Lee and Artemis. Hello, Laura. Hi, Laura. She also says it's sunny and beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. We have the general saying it's going to be sunny and 89 Fahrenheit, I'm guessing. Uh, here where where I am in Minnesota today. Well, that's going to be warm and sunny. We have heated up our woodie vent. Hello, everybody. Good morning, USA. And look at how bendy and flexible this is. Can you believe that? Like this could even wrap around the corner of our modern like that. You guys see that? But we're going to keep it and place it here. So now that this is warmed up, I know it's gonna fit. Do you want another bend? No, I got the bend. You got the bend. I'm gonna apply my wood glue. So a second step when using wood you bend is to apply a good quality wood glue. We use tight bond, quick and thick, because it's quick and it's thick. <laughs> uh, but any high quality wood glue will do the job. You just wanna make sure you're not using Mod Podge or PVA, that kind of stuff. It just doesn't work as well. I would like to also say a hello to Solange. Hello, Solange. Who is asking, how are we doing? We're doing great. Lovely to hear from you again, Solange. We are upcycling central right here in Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Lisa saying, they call it an applique. Love the accent. Applique, we say in Canada, she says. It, that's because in Canada they speak French. And the word is actually French, uh, was French, not English. So, and in French you say applique. Applique. So the English, the British English actually cut, cut the accent, cut the word off. <laughs> so if you want to know the etymology of any word, Artemis is your place to go. <laughs> I have a, I have a mild, uh, knowledge there yeah <laughs> she might not have gone to space but what she does do. <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> that was a joke about a rocket ship guys so uh, i've spread the glue all along the footprint of my woodie bend this is what's going to help our woodie bend to stick to the surface go on please and i'm just sticking it straight on to my cupboard that's quite Yorkshire there, sorry. <laughs> so I'm sticking this on, I'm lining it up so that the height of this moulding is touching the top there. I'm just going to put them a little bit closer because I yeah. think they can see, but you can almost see too much. <laughs> no, I think there they can see more details. There we go. So now, you see how there's a bit of glue coming out from under my moulding here? I'm actually going to wipe this off using a paintbrush and some water, which I've left over there because I'm a wally. Can you mind passing me my jug? So because jug. my jug, the, the glue that we use is water-based, which means if you have any excess, you can simply wipe it away with more water. So you can use a baby wipe or um, a wet Q-tip as well, depending on what you prefer. But I'm just taking an old flat brush and cleaning up that glue 
you know, I could leave it guys and it would dry clear, but it would leave a bit of texture and I don't really want that on my piece. We have Rebecca saying, good morning, my bendy friends. <laughs> good morning, Rebecca. I would just like to clarify for everybody that I was actually kicked out of gymnastics for being not flexible. So, you know, just let my gym teachers know <laughs> that I'm now working with bendy words mm. <laughs> and I'm known as a bendy person despite not being able to do the crab. I have Meredith saying, I so need to get on the Dixie Bell and Would You Been train. Hard to order when you love everything. <laughs> I understand your pain. I know, you guys, it's like heaven working here because we've got everything in front of us. Oh, it's so good. So guys, now that I've wiped up my excess glue, I'm taking my heat gun again. Yeah, like I say, guys, you can also use a hairdryer if you don't have a heat gun. I'm reheating my moulding. Like so. And now that it's nice and warm, I'm going to do the last step and give it a good old press onto the surface. So Woody Bent really has the texture of memory foam. So don't be afraid to give it a good old shove onto your surface. You want to see glue popping out from under the moulding because it means that the Woody Bend is flush, entirely flush against your surface. And you know it's not coming off. We have good morning from Meredith from apparently a place called The Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> so B U R G H. I am not sure of how to pronounce that. <laughs> In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much, Meredith. Good morning to you soon. Good morning, Meredith. <laughs> there we go. So I've given that a good old squeeze. I'm happy with how it's looking. And I'm going back in with my wet brush. Just, it's only got plain water on it, guys. Nothing special. And again, cleaning off all that glue that I've pushed out from the underside of my molding. So what's the weather like where you're watching from, guys? Because I know we've got people from all over the US. And I love knowing that even though it's one country, the weather can change dramatically. You know, Dixie Bell's there in Texas, like sweating buckets. And <laughs> Laura's in Pennsylvania, like, it's raining again. Florida, raining. <sighs> it's raining in Florida. Florida, raining. I don't think they actually know the meaning of the word rain. It's sunny in Florida every day. I don't believe it ever rains in Florida. <laughs> there we go. We have Andrea saying hello from Northern Florida. So, Andrea, what's, do you know what rain means? <laughs> I'm sure Florida doesn't know what rain means. So, guys, this is a piece that's been heating up on my griddle. You see this? You can even make a crown out of it. It's so bendy, you guys. I wonder if I can get it up close and squish it for you to see. Like that. Wow. So now it's warmed up. I'm getting my glue again and I'm repeating the exact same steps. So I'm getting the glue on my molding. I'm going to take a paintbrush and just smooth it along. My goal for the next couple of months is to get really satisfying at putting glue on and like have it wrap around the molding. Cause at the minute I just dump it on. <laughs> oh, Dixie Bell says it's rainy and drizzly in the part of Texas, in her part of Texas. Fall time, times. Uh, but Dixie Bowl is actually based in Florida. Sorry, sorry, I thought it was Texas. And apparently in Northern Florida, it's also raining. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think someone's been giving me wrong information about Florida then. <laughs> or maybe we're just jealous because Florida gets the sun for like one day a year. We're like, oh, <laughs> imagine having sunshine. Yeah, I just need a little bit more glue on the ends, guys. Like I say, this step's really important. So you don't want to go too light with the glue application. 
better to have more than two yeah. lids so in this case guys especially when it's so easy to clean up okay from grab and meredith says door open cool morning in pennsylvania oh guys do you know i really want to come see us i know i say this every time but um Believe it or not, I was a huge Twilight fan growing up. And I always wanted to go to, like, um, the Forks and all that sort of stuff. I know you can stay in the house now, can't you? You can stay in the Twilight house. Really? Yeah. My dreams came true, Artemis. <laughs> yeah, but which house do you mean? Do you mean the Bella's. big... Uh, oh, Bella's house. Yeah. Or the... Cullen? Colin? Cullen. Come on, Artemis, get it right! <laughs> I was not a huge, um, huge fan of that. For you guys watching, did you like Twilight? And if you did, what team? <laughs> I feel very passionately about the subject. Okay. Hello, Donna from New Zealand. Hello, hey. Donna. Well, it's, uh, it's about the end of winter there, isn't it? Should be starting start of spring. Oh, I bet you're so excited. And we have buongiorno from Roma. Buongiorno a Roma. Uh, from Antonella. And Solange says it's sunny here, but a bit windy. Uh, still up with fires. Unfortunately, this year has been quite bad. Oh. Fire-wise? That's a shame. We've had some horrible fires, haven't we? Right, guys. So I've just cleaned off the excess glue. I'm going in with my heat gun. And once this wood you bend's warmed up, I can make final adjustments and make sure it's all lined up. Oh, Dixie Belle. I'm not embarrassed to say I've never watched a second. <gasps> it really did define me as a person. <laughs> I'm going to have to go home and watch Twilight now. <laughs> Me and Solly are doing something over the weekend together, guys, and I 100% are going to make her watch the Twilight Saga with me. <laughs> She's watching this. She's like, no. says, how is it there in the UK? Is it It's kind of grey, but uh, actually cloudy, but still we can see the blue. <laughs> I won't put my washing out. That's as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so I'm going to stand around the other side, guys, just so you can see a little bit better. And I'm not stood right in your way. So as you can see, the fourth and fifth step of Woody Bend, where you reheat it and apply it to your surface, is really important because it allows you to make any final adjustments. You know, it goes bendy again. You see, if I want this piece to be up a little bit, I can just push it. And then once it's cooled down, we're all good. I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and even. Solange was a Colin team. Oh, good Solange. This is why we're friends. <laughs> but now that I'm a bit older, I do realise that Jacob was probably the more healthier choice. You know, he was alive at least, but. <laughs> the, the, the whole logic <laughs> the, of this. <laughs> Sorry, Jigsaw. <laughs> <there. laughs> This is actually uh, Dixie Bell Woody Bend and the Twilight Saga Live. Thanks for tuning in. We have Andrea saying, come and visit. Come and visit? Where are you, Andrea? Okay, in in um, Northern Florida. Northern Florida. Oh my God, yes, please. And uh, Chris then is saying that it's still dark in Washington State. What, what time is it in Washington right now? So I always love doing the Dixie Bell Lives because... You know, you guys are all waking up over there in the States and it's it's just really sweet. I'm like, oh, you know, you're, you're choosing to spend time with me on a morning. <laughs> there you go. So I've cleaned all that glue off and I'm happy with that placement. So, so it's not on as much of an angle. What do you guys think so far? I'm really happy with how that looks. So again, this is the Woody Bend 2093. It's a Dixie Bell exclusive design. So now that I've finished doing that, I'm now going to go in and apply my backplate. Hmm? X1008. My X1008 sounds like a terminator, doesn't it? To my handles. 
Now, if I was painting this piece, I would have taken my handles off, but because I'm sticking this widget bend on, I kind of want the handles on, so I've got the placement correct. And what we're gonna do is when widget bend's heated up enough, it almost has butter-like consistency. So we're gonna be able to cut straight down the middle of this mold in here to turn them into handles. Because when it's cold, it really is strong. Like I'm, I'm tugging on it quite a lot here and it, it won't bend. You know, it's got the properties of wood. So I'm gonna grab my heat gun again, guys. Popping it on the back of the third generation board just to protect my surface here. And I'm warming it up. I even hold it up and show you guys as well. So when I'm using a heat gun, sorry. <laughs> I like to keep my heat gun moving because I don't want to scorch or burn my woody bend. Michelle is a complain not complaining, but just um, she says about three minutes ago, she says, Mon petit coucou de France which means my little hello from France. Bonjour. <laughs> and uh, about seconds ago, she says, I'm, I'm not very certain that my, my little hello has been received. Michelle, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to play him Artemis, guys. You know, Artemis speaks French, Michelle. Oh no, don't make me speak French now. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not. Oh, apparently it's um, 6.30 a.m. in Washington. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here and I hope you're enjoying your morning coffees. And Christelle is saying, come visit, I'll take you to Forks. <gasps> <laughs> don't, I'm going to start singing that. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no, do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, sorry, guys. Ah. Dixieville says, Dixieville plus. Would you bend molding plus coffee equals the perfect morning? The perfect morning. Okay, guys, so I'm sticking this where I want the handle to be and I'm making sure it's even. Solange says the moldings do make the cabinet pop just like that. They do, it just adds depth to it. You know, a boring piece of furniture is boring because it's flat. You know, you look at it and you think, oh, all right then, that'll go in the corner. Whereas adding a woody bend, even though it's not become too wide, it's not in your face, it just makes it look so much more on it. Like, imagine this with a bit of colour on it. Guys, it's going to look so cool. So I'm just popping this applique onto the centre here. Now, guys, I am stood at an angle, so if it doesn't look straight to you, let us know. Well, they are at an angle too. <laughs> You're also at an angle, so... The bottom <laughs> needs to go a little bit that way. There. There we go, perfect. I would say so. Uh, sorry, I'm a perfectionist, guys. I'm <laughs> annoying. <laughs> we love to have Atmos here. There. So again, <laughs> I say to myself that I'm annoying, and then yeah, we love to have Atmos here. <laughs> we love to have Atmos. Frida says, Buon pomeriggio, com al solito per l'inizio. Hmm? Oh! Com al solito? Come al solito? Yeah, like usual, I missed the start. Oh, okay. Okay. Quindi oggi facciamo questo... Um, come si chiama? Um, Wooden. It's something... Legno. Uh, yeah. <laughs> è una cosa di legno, non so come si chiama in italiano, ma... Comodino? Comodino, è un comodino, non lo so, ma applicheremo alcuni fregi di Woody Band um, e Dixie Bell. Um, Dixie Bell ha alcuni disegni es esclusivi. Um, e sì, <laughs> è tutto. So I've just cleaned up this glue here, like so. And again, guys, I'm going with my heat gun. I'm going to press it once more and then I'm going to cut it. So I'm trying to go a little bit quicker because I don't want to bore you guys and I do appreciate you all sticking with us for this bit. You get it sticking with us because I'm sticking would you bend onto this piece of furniture. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not going to let me do another live after this. Bad jokes. It's nearly Friday, guys. Nearly Friday. <laughs> okay. So I'm really pressing the parts that are touching my handles because obviously the rest of this applique we're going to cut. I'm thinking let's put the 2443 and then let's do a little... Old, yeah. And we can actually 
glue one of the two and then that way we can start painting on one side. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so again, clean up that glue. Dixie Bell just asked, who is new to Dixie Bell and or would you bend moldings? And we have Tracy saying, I'm new. I'm new. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> So guys, I'm going in with my uh, 2443 here. Again, this is a small, sorry for waving my knife at you, <laughs> um, a small version of what you can find on the top of the 2093 or a similar, similar it's vibe. Close, close. You see. So again, I'm going to open this up. Got my knife, going in. And terrible as always, open up my packaging. Show it to me too, please. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. So that's what it looks like outside of its packaging. I'm going to stick one on the griddle like I did earlier to have that one heat up. Grab oh. in my heat gun. Also, drum roll, please. Drum welcome, roll. Welcome, 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 Angela and Mary Jane from Australia who are new to Dixieville and Would You Bend. Welcome, welcome, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you for being here. I guess if you're new, uh, Dixie Bell are an awesome paint company in the US. They do stencils, um, decoupage type papers. They do paints, chalk paints, silk paints. They've even got a new terracotta paint, which is awesome. Transfers, don't forget the transfers. And transfers, don't forget transfers. Um, and we do a live with Dixie Bell every Thursday. Our name is Woody Bend, and we have Bendy wood, believe it or not. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to get that a little bit better for you guys. Look at that. So this is the woodie bend. And then going back in with my tight bond. This is a good quality wood glue. Sorry. Go on, go on. I'm applying the glue onto the surface. Again, I'm going in with a little paintbrush and just smoothing out. My glue. Putting it all over the back of your moulding. And like, I read a comment that we had on our Instagram this morning and it was a lovely lady and she said, do you know, this is something I'd have to do when I retire so I've got the time to learn it. And I was like, you yeah, have to learn it. The whole point of Woody Bend is to make things accessible. You're making crafting, woodworking, carving more accessible to everybody. You know, you don't have to be retired. You could be working a two nine to five jobs i don't know how that would work um but you know you can do it what's it taking 20 minutes 15 minutes okay so i'm going in again i'm lining up my witchy bend with the corners of this cabinet here and i'm sticking it on and just like that it's stuck it's on and it's stuck and that's the beauty of it guys and uh, today as well, I'm going to be showing you how to blend using the Dixie Bell paint, which I think is something if you're new to crafting or upcycling, it can be quite intimidating. It can feel a bit like, oh, I wouldn't do that. I can stick a bit of widget bend on it, but, uh, you know, and we're here to show you that it's so easy, guys, and the results that you can have with it are amazing. So I'm just cleaning up that excess glue. Got a vacuum with my heat gun, guys. Like so, and I'm just lifting this up so you can see this a little better. But don't you think it's gone from being a really boring MDF cabinet to already a really ornate and classic piece? You know, I'd even be happy leaving it this color, but the Dixie Bell is just going to make these moldings pop. Angela says, I just have to wrap my mind around all the possibilities going on in my mind. Yep. Yeah, I can I can understand that first thought of you see you see all the different uh, tools and materials that you can use and just feel flooded with ideas and you can't decide which one is the best one. Well, the point is that there is no best one. The point is to to do it and to make it yours because the start idea, guys. It, I'm sure Leah will uh, will be with me on this one. You start with, you have a first initial idea about how this is going to look at the end. 
but it ends up being something different <laughs> almost every time <laughs> i like to think of them as like their own sentient beings and as you work on them you go oh actually that'd look nice there and i think it is the piece telling you like what what it wants um so again i'm just gonna apply this one last side guys and then i'll go in with a lick of paint once i get the glue everywhere like i always do yeah i literally just you just saw me throw glue all over myself these yeah. the, the trousers that i'm wearing are fresh out the wash you guys and <laughs> um, it's every time <laughs> lisa bill says and it's rightfully so uh we have jpo sorry saying i always always say if you just start i promise you that you'll surprise yourself with the uh, with your capabilities it is absolutely true yeah the absolutely hardest part is starting true. so i'm gonna come around this side guys so you can see a little bit better i've followed the exact same steps this is heated up it's been on my a little bit higher up. up yeah like so and i don't know if you can see guys but the moldings as i've been applying them onto these corners there's a bit of a, a lip on the side here, but that's why when I reheat it, I'm going to be able to push those in and make it fit in this space perfectly. So I'm grabbing my Prima water. Anna saying, ciao a tutti, freggi meravigliosi. Ciao, grazie Anna. Anna. Anna, si, sì, grazie. Sono freggi um, che sono disegni esclusivi al, uh, alla Dixie Bell. I wasn't expecting to be in this corner. Don't I'm just going to move them uh, yeah, this way. Yeah, bringing them down a bit so you can see me push these edges in, these ears. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wait a second. Wait guys, we're going to move you guys. <laughs> uh, there, and I think... Oh, you're down to my height now. <laughs> there. There we go. So, you see so that just be careful better? not to put your hand on it. So I'm moving this out of the way, guys, because I really want you to see this. So, I'm going to move them a little bit further down, actually. Further down? A little bit further. That's uh, it, yeah. And we can go closer. They're at the bottom. Yep, so we're working on this part here. There. Uh, I'm being a perfectionist again. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. So, if you can see here, guys the lip of this woody bend we like to call them the ears on designs like this is coming over just a couple of millimeters over the side here so i'm going to heat it up real good and you're going to watch as these bend inwards and there's the top of my heat gun as always <laughs> So we use Type Bond thick and thick, Danielle. It's a good quality wood glue. If you can't find Type Bond in your area, you'll be able to get it or via Dixie Bell. Via Dixie Bell, yeah. So did you see that, guys? I just pushed. You see how it's bending? It's not cracking. It's not moving. And that allows us to completely reposition it. So I'm just lifting this little ear up as well. And then finishing off by firmly pressing the rest of this applique. Like so. <laughs> Thank you very much for understanding me so long. Perfect. Okay. So what do you guys think? Now I'm going to, again, just clean off my excess glue. So we'll get on to painting now. Are you all right to reposition them whilst I get the paints ready, please, Artemis? Sorry? Are you okay to move the camera again so I can get the uh, painting ready? Yes, absolutely. Let's do this. I'll tell you what, guys, we're the dream team. <laughs> there we go. Higher up. And I think that will be good. Yep. So, it's tight bone, uh, Danielle. Type Type bond. Uh, if you look at the comments, uh, Dixie Bell has just posted 
uh, you will see it. There's the glue, okay? So guys, going back to our cupboard here, I'm gonna move you down and just lift you up so you're a bit more straight on there. You're just gonna get really zoomed in a bit of my face. All right, so, so this is how our cabinet is looking right now. And now we're gonna go over with a little bit of Dixie bag. So when I'm painting, I always like to choose three colors. I like to have a base color, a highlight, and a low light. I'm taking just these little plastic pots um, to put my colors in because basically I don't wanna get a, a bright pink in a white, you know? Nothing, nothing more complicated than that. So, we have so long saying, look at cabinet, just like that raw. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it, Solange? The other way around. The other way around. I was just shaking it. So, we're going in with Dixie Belt Flamingo. This is um, our darkest colour, even though it's the brightest colour as such. But we're going to be popping this in the corner. When you're blending, you want to try and copy the natural light. So, on my light, as it's coming in, means that the shadows are falling around here, the mid-tones are coming around here, and the highlights are sort of coming in the centre of my cabinet, which is why we always suggest taking three sort of transitional colours. So this is Lemonade by Dixie Bell. Watch out, it's a little bit open. A little bit open, thank you. Before I spill even more things down my trousers. This is <laughs> Lemonade by Dixie Bell. It's like a, a well, it's lemony, it's like a baby yellow. So we've got a little bit of this, which I'm just gonna give a cheeky stir. We have Royal stirring, we have Anna saying, i vostri fregi sono così facili e malleabili da usare, si può fare di tutto. Si, sono incredibili. Le possibilità sono, non ci, non ci sono limite. Okay, so I've got my lemonade. And now I'm taking my fluff by Dixie Belle. This is my highlight turn here. So I'm just going to give this a good old shake. Get it all it's a new one as well. mixed together. Yeah, so it's a new one, so I'll give it a good old shake. So you want to get all the components mixed together. Nice and good. Right, here we go. Brand, brand new, guys. There we go. So it is an off-white colour. Um, I'd say a pure white if you're looking for a, a yeah, brilliant white colour with Dixie Belle is cotton. My favourite white of theirs is um, uh, buttercream, but which cream. you wouldn't call it actually a white, it's a creamy, creamy white. Yeah. Okay, so to start painting, because we're going to be blending these colours, I'm taking a spritzer. This is just plain water, guys, and I'm going to spritz my cabinet. Just because it's MDF and it's a little bit dry for the wood. So this is going to help the paint to run really nice and smooth over my surface. So I'm just taking a Dixie Bell brush and I'm going in with Flamingo here. Oh, I just love that colour. And you'll watch how with the water being on there, it's going to move really nice and easy. So I'd recommend using two coats. Um, with the Dixie Bell paint, the coverage is incredible. But two coats just gets you absolutely perfect pigment and colour. And I'm also going to take um, this brush by Dixie Bell. It's got more of a pointed tip. It's going to let us get into the nooks and crannies of our mouldings a bit easier here. And remember, guys, this is a first coat so yeah. it's basically mapping your colors isn't it i think that's the term you use yeah so we just want to map as i said these are where my darkest shades are so we're going almost in an oval shape around here like so so you can see how dry my cabinet is this pin is just soaking straight in so i'm giving it another little spritz i'm going in with my brush In the areas I want to stay dark. So I'm not worried about it being perfect first time because as Atma said, this is more of mapping um, 
Yeah, just more of a mapping out where you want these colours to be. Solange says, Dixieville have a wide range of colours colors that are incredible. And this is a lovely colour indeed. It's gorgeous. It's like a really bright pink. It is flamingo. It is, it is, it is it flamingo is pink. It is the colour I would associate with a flamingo. I would love to know how Dixieville named their paint though, because some of the names are really fun. <laughs> Like Colonel Mustard. Who came up with Colonel Mustard, guys? So I'm just popping some more. By the way, who knows the how you what you call a group of flamingos? Oh, they're not a gaggle, that's geese, isn't it? I don't know what a gaggle is. Yeah, a gaggle of geese. <laughs> I personally, it's one of my favourite words, what the, the, what you would call a group of flamingos. Go on Artemis, what is it? Oh, I'm going to give them a little bit of time to find it. Don't Come you on, Google guys. guys, don't Google, because that's worse than when you Google it a quiz. We need to start <laughs> doing a Dixie Bell quiz. <laughs> here, here in England guys, they have what they call pub quizzes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Dixiebel says flock. It isn't a flock. Try again. <laughs> okay. There we go. And you just do a little bit there. Yep. And that way. I have the end. And as well, another shadow that I've got on this cabinet, guys, is around my handles. So I'm going to go in, paint my widgie bend. You see how easy this brush is covering that moulding? All those nooks and crannies. And I'm just... Kelly says a pride. It isn't a pride, unfortunately. Though I would have liked that. No, a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. A flamboyance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. What would you call a group of would you bend staff? <laughs> a would you bend staff? Bendy people. Oh, God. So now I'm going in with... Um, the Lemonade colour by Dixie Bell now. I'm actually going in with a clean brush because I'm going to blend this, as you'll see. But I like to keep my colours on water quite separate. Might be all right. So you're applying now Lemonade. Lemonade. Yeah, I like to keep my colours quite separate until we really start pulling them together. We have Danielle saying, did you, the would you bend piece you did today come as a set or all separate? So the, the molding 2093 comes as a set of two. They're sold together. Uh, but again, it could change depending on which, uh, which store you go to. Uh, this X1008 it also comes as a set of two, and this 2443, am I right? Yes. Uh, comes also as a set of two. Okay, so I'm going in with my spritzer again. I've got a clean brush. I'm actually, this is an angled brush, but a flat brush. There we go. So I've got a clean, clean brush, more water, and I'm actually going to spritz where these lines are between my colours. And you'll see, guys, I, I always describe this as a push and pull. I'm just going to pull the paint together like so. And what it, brush are you using for this? I'm using a flat mini. Okay. Yeah, a mini brush. So you see how I'm really trying to mimic where my natural light is falling. And I'm not bothered about it being a little bit scruffy for now because like we said, we're just mapping out. Can you see how useful the water is? I know, right, J Po? This is it's it's not the word you would associate to a group of of flamingos flamboyants. 
But it is apparently cold dust. <laughs> How do you know it? How do you know? Pop quiz. <laughs> More of a pop quiz. I like it. Nice. Okay. So my cabinet is literally so dry, it's sucked apart of this paint. So I'm going to blend it the best I can on this layer and then we'll go in for a second coat and hopefully it'll be a little bit more malleable. Can I have you spraying some water? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, that's good as we're going to get for pushing and pulling on this coat. So now I'm going back in with my pink flamingo to the areas that have gone really dry. So more like at the bottom here. Hello, Betty. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, guys. I know we've got a few new people watching, but also welcome to all the people who are Royal Dixie Bell, <laughs> Bell fans. You know what? Because she, I'm going to put them there. So they're a little bit closer. I think you can see. Yeah, you can see the bottom of the cabinet. You can see my colours are starting to pull together like so. Have we got any any new people joining? Got a bit of a hair there. Oops. <laughs> and we have Betty saying hello from over here. <laughs> she changed the pages. <laughs> so guys, this brush that I'm going back in with now has a little bit of flamingo left on it. So it's really gonna help us just get this transition of colour and don't be discouraged when you first start guys it really is a push and pull situation you want to push out the darker colours pull in the light colours bring back the dark colours and eventually it'll come together before your eyes and you'll go oh <laughs> when did that happen I want another drum roll from Danielle saying that it's her first time on here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Danielle. Where are you watching from, Danielle? Did I miss it? No. Then we have Betty saying, hello, I'm Betty. I'm definitely not new. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> we see. We... Betty is one of our quite, uh, how do you call this? Uh, we, we see you quite often, don't we, Betty? It's great to see you with us, to have you with us. Okay, so it's really starting to come together now, guys. I'm getting a bit braver with my pink flamingo. Now I'm happy with how this is looking. And we have Nancy joining us from Southern California here, where it's hot, she says. Hot, hot, hot. And we also have, well, Danielle, who is from Florida, where apparently it's raining, is what we've been told. I, I just don't believe it for a second. Here we go, guys. So it's really starting to come over on this corner. You see how I'm just pushing and pulling and I think you know if you're new to this you're starting out on this it's just a case of not getting discouraged just bear with it and trust the process and water really is your best friend you want to be careful not to get to the point where it's like dripping but you also want it to help you move these pigments into one another we have Anna saying, Sta venen venendo una meraviglia. Oh, grazie mille. There we go. So I'm going back in with my flamingo, guys. And I'm actually bringing it back in around. 
my handles here. So you see what I mean where I said it, it, you really do map it out on that first run through your brush. I didn't want the flamingo to be so strong in the middle, but I wanted it to have a hue here to really give these handles some shadow and add some depth to what is a very flat piece. We have Christina saying hello from... Now, here's where I need some help. WV. I haven't done any American geography. WV? WV. West Virginia? West Virginia? Guys, did we get it right? <laughs> the Dixieville geography lesson. And of course, we have someone in the background actually singing the song. <laughs> someone in the background being our lovely, lovely Jordan there. Danielle says, love the blending. Thank Can you, Danielle. Learning so much. Oh, thank you. Good. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn. I'm trying to go a little bit quicker, guys, so you can see as much as possible, really. Tend to. Tend to. Cool. So, that's it. I'm just blending in. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take another dry mini brush, right? And I'm just going to finish smoothing this out so i will go in with another layer guys get this all evened up but i want to really show you how to add that highlight into the piece so i'm taking my fluff by dixie bell and i'm taking another pointed brush here getting in my fluff <laughs> oh 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 i need to tackle that wait yeah, so this is my lightest shade now i can see that the light is hitting it here so i'm just marking this out like so it's a little bit more straight it's a little bit there as well Solange says it's becoming like a kind of sunset pinkish color it's beautiful isn't it so i'm spraying this light color guys and i'm just swooping it in really trying to copy the light that i've got in this room and the natural shades that are coming out Dixiebel says florida is huge and probably not like to, uh, and probably a lot like texas flooding in one area and horrible wildfires in another I, I do always forget how big America is. Like, yeah. you guys, it's, it's yeah. huge. In our small island. <laughs> you know, I always complain because um, my nana and granddad, they lived in the on the north coast of Scotland and it was like a 12-hour drive. And growing up, I couldn't imagine anything taking longer. Like, that was the longest trip of my life I'd ever take. And now uh, I'm like, hmm, if I go to America, I might be there a while. 12 hours, I'd get to the side of Florida. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. So I'm just bringing back in that flamingo. Yeah. And it was West Virginia. Okay, you are, Miss. <laughs> We have Donna watching from Lano in Texas. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Donna. And we have another Donna saying good morning from Colorado. Good morning, Colorado. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, I'm going. And we have Laura saying looking gorgeous. Back in with the fluff. Need a bit more water. You can tell you need water because your brush starts to pull. You don't want that. You want this to be a really smooth transition. And we have Margaret saying, watching in Scotland. <laughs> Hello, Margaret. Where in Scotland are you? My nanny and granddad lived in Hopeman, so that's kind of how North Coast are talking. There we go. So I'm going to leave it here for today, guys, but 
This will need another coat. You can see where the lighter colours aren't quite covering in one coat the base of this MDF wood here. Um, but I'll go in, I'm going to finish this off off camera, add another layer. We're going to get this lovely, dusty, rosy sunset effect going on. Uh, next time we're going to be applying some more widgie bend, but widgie bend trims and sets and decorative trims. And we're going to actually go over with gold gilding wax and just highlight these appliques and just make them pop against the pink. So thank you so much for being with me today. My name is Leah. I'm part of the widgie bend team and I will see you same place, same time next week. So take care, everybody. Guys, thank you very much for sitting, for joining us today for our uh, little twilight moment, uh, <laughs> learning new words and everything. It was a pleasure to be with you. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.